first and foremost, he is my very dear friend. But he was my very dear friend, I think, within the first experience of working with him on the Sugarland Express, the first uh, uh, theatrical feature I, I directed. And uh, it, it's just been the greatest creative partnership I've ever had with a single human being in my, in my entire career. Well, I think people do know his music, but they don't associate his music with the man who composed the music. Uh, and and it, was, it was hard to get John to agree to allow us to tell the story of his life and career because John would always say, well, who would be interested in me? They know my music and the films it goes with, but who's going to be interested in me? And I said, John, we're going to, I'm going to prove to you how interesting you are. Just say yes. And he eventually said yes. T tons of stuff about his father, a lot about his legacy uh, in, the, 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 in the art of film composition, scoring. I, there was so much about that part of his life I didn't know that much about. And of course, I also found out that he did the music for Gilligan's Island. I don't think I knew that until we delved into his life story. Oh, I just want them to just understand that, you know, it wasn't a magician that gave us themes that we've carried with us generationally, but it was a beautiful human person. Honestly, it's, it's hard to think of someone who I love and respect more than John Williams. Uh, I just can't say enough, and being here is an honor. I, I just think that, that, you know, whether you know his music or you didn't realize you know his music, and I think that those are the only two categories that exist. Um, seeing this story, how he does what he does, how he works the way he does, the compassion and, and heart uh, that he has, the way he shares that with the orchestra, watching him work in that way is so incredible. Uh, he, it, there's nothing about him uh, and, and, and what he does that uh, doesn't blow my mind, and he really is the closest I've, I've ever come to um, seeing someone who sort of transcends all like human boundaries. Like, like he's like every Olympian rolled into one, you know, musical genius. He's just unreal. I, I just think it's, uh, it, it's great to get a peek behind the curtain if you haven't seen it um, in terms of, of how he works and getting a sense of the man behind these incredible scores that we all know and seeing that he's as sort of sweet and thoughtful and gentle and kind uh, as you could, I think, humanly be. Um, and, and he's the most humble person. I mean, that's the other thing that's so incredible about him. It's, I said this once about him that, that, you know, it's as if he hasn't read his own resume. Um, he's just so good, but talks to you as if he's just starting. And I mean, to, to have someone be as good at anything as, as he is, which is almost impossible anyway, and then be not just kind, but genuinely humble, to have that kind of humility is, uh, that may be one of his great superpowers too. Imagine Entertainment had the honor of uh, producing the documentary along with Amblin uh, uh, and Lucasfilm. Uh, and uh, our documentary team at Imagine has been doing a lot of great work, but everyone was just thrilled to have this opportunity to work on the story of John Williams and, and the man behind all this music that we all, you know, have lived for and, and feel through, you know. Well, they've all heard the music. They just may not know anything about the, the artist, and a lot of people don't. He's a very humble man, yet he's this remarkable genius. In, in, in earlier generations, he would have been the Mozart or the Beethoven, or you know, and, and yet he's given us these themes that uh, really speak to us. The thing is that he's, he's, he's worked on so many different kinds of, of films, so from a drama like Schindler's List to, you know, the... Star Wars themes and, and Harry Potter, and it's just kind of mind-blowing when you understand it. Yeah, well, John's been in our lives a long, long time, and he was always reluctant to do this, and here we are. He finally sat down and started to tell us stories, and this is a beautiful film that really represents somebody who I think, as everybody says, has been the soundtrack of our lives. 
Well, I think it's about passion. I think it's, uh, you know, Johnny had this dream when he was a young man and he was a composer and a piano player. And um, it's as Kathy says, the soundtracks of our lives, every theme that you hear, you go, oh, he did that, he did. And it's just extraordinary what his, his accomplishments have been in the mu field of music. Well, I, I think what means so much to John is that he is classically trained and he plays with a full orchestra with every bit of music that he creates. And I think that's what he loves imparting to a younger generation is an appreciation of that level of music because so much of the music we listen to today is made in very different ways, which is all justified. But when you have somebody as talented as John who can still conduct and write and create music using, you know, all these musicians. I think that's very inspiring to young people. Music is an art and it's a craft and John has this gift for coming up with these themes that come from the heart, from his mind and the creativity that's there and he's able to then translate it into writing. It's, it's not done by something else. <laughs> and and that's the beauty of music. And I think that, that we're celebrating that tonight. Well, you know, they have this expression, the goat, greatest of all time. This is, if there's ever been a, a quintessential expression of what that is, it's Mr. Williams. And I'm not gonna say music for film. I'm gonna say music. He has single-handedly um, raised the bar for what film music can be, but by the way, has also brought um, his contemporary voice to the literature of, of symphonic music, concert music. The guy has done all of it. So I'm so happy to even be invited. And uh, this is the GOAT. You know, first of all, um, uh, for me it's an honor. This, was, this is one of the most important gifts that I have come in here in Los Angeles. To have this connection and this beautiful friendship with, with John. Which is a master in every sense, not only musically, I think artistically. In the, human side you know and 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 really for me it's a privilege and this is this is beautiful this is a beautiful homage to to i think to a man that have changed the history you know of of music not only of film music of music all the arts are important but music is one of the most natural and more powerful expression of humankind i think and, 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 and I think it has the power to transform, to connect, to, to, I think, even to create a better world because it, it has this power that it doesn't need a word. It's only the power of that sound that transforms your feelings and connect with others. So I think John is a master of this because even with image or without image, his music is very powerful and it has this, this unique and beautiful power. Well, I feel so fortunate to be here. This has been such an incredible project from the beginning. Um, I can't wait to see it. Uh, our whole family is excited and um, uh, Dad is doing great and we'll be back on the road very soon. It really is, and that's how people think of Dad's music, is that it scored their lives. And uh, so little five-year-olds and then 85 and 95-year-olds love the music. It's, uh, it spans an entire lifespan, and it's a, it's a beautiful thing. We have a musical family. Um, I have two brothers who are both musicians, and my kids are both musicians, and so the beat goes on. 
Well, you know, I've been a fan of John Williams as long as I've known cinema, as long as I've been going to the movies. So this is really a dream come true, and it's a real tribute to a great master. And I know, you, you know, I got to make the film, but this is really a film for all of us. I really feel that we can all relate to his story, and I think we can all relate to his music and, and the movies that he scored for. Well, you know, I think uh, John is very private and he's very shy. And uh, uh, but as long as you talk to him about music, he will open up. So everything that we discussed in the film was first approached to, uh, through music, through a music cue, through a memory about music. So that was really extraordinary, and and something that got him, I think, to feel comfortable. No, I know, you know, that was one of my dreams, you know, with this film is to really potentially introduce John to the next generations. And he's so inspiring. First of all, he's timeless. But, you know, I really feel that a kid watching this movie, if you like music, would probably be inspired to become a musician. So I, I really think that this is really a film for everyone. And I really hope that there is a sense of discovery for kids who don't know who John Williams is. The thing that's extraordinary about John Williams is that, is that you can listen to his music with the films. And I, I catch myself listening to his music aside from the films and I get emotional. So really his music transcends really being written for the screen. You know, it's written for us. And he's really scored the music of our lives. So here we go.